093. We have a great view. It's very nice. It is very. It's amazing. I mean, there's not many trains around here. But remember, we're not far from Bath. And, of course, we're... On Sunday, we'll be returning to London from Bath Spa. But I'm hoping that a walk we can take on Saturday might take us near a railway. Because that'd be a good play of time to, you know, catch some trains in this amazing scenery. This is a view towards the village of Box, which is right by Box Railway Tunnel, which is over there. It's quite late, and tomorrow I hope either to go to Box Railway Tunnel or go to the opening of the two tunnels in Bath on the S and D route. I hope to do one of the two. I might not end up. I might end up doing none of them. Welcome to the Fox and Hounds, a lovely country inn. The um, the two tunnels opening, which is a shame since it actually opens today. And be, yeah, be, it's actually open by now actually, because it's uh, about three in the afternoon. But now I'm going to walk to the uh, portal of a uh, Box Hill Tunnel. I should have get get you know really good chance to uh, film some of the trains there. So I'll, I'll keep you updated. We're now on the road to Box, um, and we seem to be following the uh, the army group, who are obviously on training a training operation in in this lovely lovely county scenery. Uh, I tell you, it's very good, amazing. But I won't, I can't say too much because um, because I, I'm I'm restricted by the amount of memory I've got on here and, uh, and my camera, so I better stop now. That the church on the hillside, Box Tunnel, Engineer Eisenbard Kingdom Brunel. Oh, train. Excellent. I was meant to read all that out and then show you Box Tunnel to make you all surprised, but then a train came and I had to film it, so that kind of failed. Anyway, it says, constructed 1836 to 1841. Length, 3,212 yards. West Portal, cleaned and restored in 1986 by British Rail Western Region, assisted by the Railway Heritage Trust, Wiltshire County Council, Box Parish Council and private subscriptions to commemorate its 150th anniversary. And look at it, it's it's really beautiful, isn't it? I I, I wonder if it's better, possible to get a better view. I think it may be. We'll see. I concluded that one cannot get a better view from here because there's too many trees. So I'm going to go back to the road uh, vantage point instead. It's a real problem here because um, <laughs> it's you can't hear them coming. So <laughs> that's, this is actually kind of a bit of a crisis actually. If you can't hear them coming, how the hell are you meant to film on time? If you've got limited amount of camera space. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, we've had a couple of groups of tourists come up, and because um, I've been waiting here for a while for that one train. Well, there was one coming back which I couldn't film because I'd gone over to investigate a better filming place um, which, which is annoying because they're not actually that frequent at all I think that was the first train in 20 minutes or something um, but yes we were talking with the, the group of tourists and um, he was wondering about what the um, why they're 
the two tracks there, we all know that the Great Western was originally broad gauge, but that doesn't look, that doesn't look like it's got enough space to have two broad gauge track tracks, you know, through the tunnel. Um, and so maybe it was only one broad gauge track, but could um, anyone who knows about this please enlighten me in the comments section? Um, thanks. Now I'm just going to, uh, yeah, wait for the next one. It's kitted out in Diamond Jubilee livery. You see that, the front power car. And the, the tunnel portal completely dwarfs the train. That last clip was taken about a minute after I ended the last one, so they're coming, they're coming in pairs. Here's another view. It's looking towards a small tunnel further on that way to the, I don't know. And uh, there's Box Hill. No, it must be to the east there. Unfortunately, there's no space on that side of the road for filming from the road bridge. Yeah, I tried filming with the old camera there. It's uh, obviously... Oh, look at Blackbird. It's obviously not... Um, it didn't work very well. It's really slow. And you can't just have slow, slowness when you're already struggling to tell when the train's coming. Yeah, there simply isn't enough time, so I think that's the last train I'll film at this location. I'll try and get a better one, a better location uh, to film from, but then the freight train will probably come through or something. But anyway. We come to a really tranquil place, with a culvert, an old Great Western culvert. We come to um, a tunnel east of uh, Box Hill, Q subtitle, telling me the actual name of the tunnel. And unfortunately, you can't really get a very good view of the trains from here. Um, I don't know if there's a better place to go, but the fact remains, <laughs> you do, however, can get you can, however, get a good view of the town over here. You see, with the church. So I have to try and scout somewhere else out if I'm running out of time. So wish me luck. By the way, that's Box Hill up ahead. That's what the rally went under. Sheep grazing in the field. And here's the other end of uh, that small tunnel. Maybe small, but the uh, still no expenses spared on the architecture. Although you can see it's been patched up in later years by other managers, not lovingly preserved like Box Hill is. Great, now I can go home. Well, back to where we're staying. Yes, this will be my last time probably to see, um, see the line pre pantograph which obviously electrification will bring benefits, but will that really look as good with a pantograph running up to it? Oh, there's another one coming, yay! I'm really lucky. Sorry, not great filming there. I knew I missed it a bit, but anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye. See me tomorrow as I join the train at Bath to go home.